Good morning. Today is a very special day because we're doing something that I have never done before. I have decided to quit my job. Just <laughs> Saying that is really like uncomfortable and it gives me a lot of anxiety. I'm really nervous I know I might not seem it but on the inside I'm kind of like dying right now because I'm scared I'm gonna give you guys a lot more details But I do need to finish getting ready real quick and then once we get in the car I can kind of explain everything to you my thought process why I'm doing this how I'm doing this and all that jazz Ah, I'm just nervous. Okay. I just got two new pairs of shoes I got these red high top converse and then also like these white low tops. I'm deciding which one I want to wear today. This is my outfit of the day, kind of like this maroon top. I think I got this at Target. And then these just like casual khaki shorts. Obviously I think that the white is going to match a little better, but I'm kind of feeling like the red high tops today. I'm kind of feeling like a more fun look. So these might just have to do. bunch of different watches in here. I don't really ever wear them. I always just go for the Apple watch. So I think that's what we're going to do today. Real quick before I go, I wanted to show you guys these sunglasses I just got. I got them at Dillard's. Yeah, Dillard's. These are Key sunglasses. They're an Australian brand. These are the Key by Desi Perkins ones. It's like their collab. Oh my gosh, I just realized I have no gas whatsoever. <laughs> 18 miles, what was I thinking? run inside and wash my hands because the gas handle is really dirty I'm sure and I'm also gonna sanitize the little tripod that my camera's sitting on right now I have some QR clips in my car I'm gonna wipe it down because coronavirus this is one of my favorite parts about my car less than $20 fills it up this night means forever and so does me we say we love we say we love If you're an OG subscriber to my channel, you already know this, but if it's your first time here, I am currently working at Target. My full-time job slash career is that I'm a flight attendant, but due to coronavirus and everything going on in the world right now, that has been put on hold, so I am on a leave right now. So I thought I would pick up a part-time job at Target. I thought it would be fun. Everything would be good. Target has been great. I don't want to say anything negative about them. They're a very progressive company. There's a lot of very good people at Target, a lot of good values that they stand for, but Target just is not working out for me. Like I said, nothing crazy happened. It's just, it's not working out and there's like a lot of personal details and reasons going into that that I don't really want to get into on here. But honest to God, nothing happened. I have no hard feelings against them. I'm still like a diehard like Target shopper. But unfortunately, today I am going into a resign. This is my first time I've ever like quit a job. I've always given like a two week notice and I've only, I mean, I've had like a few jobs obviously like throughout high school and stuff. And I've always given a two week notice and I know it is a little bit unprofessional but due to circumstances I just can't keep continue working here so I am going to go in and talk to either my manager or my team lead and just tell them exactly what's going on tell them how I feel see what they have to say see what they think about it like I said they're a very progressive company they're very laid back very casual non like intrusive so I think it should go over well wish me luck I'm really nervous I just want to get it over with I don't know what's gonna happen but we're gonna go in there should I walk in with my sunglasses and be like Hi, I'm here. They'll be like, what are you doing? Okay, well the deed is done. We have so much to talk about. It's kind of sunny, I'm gonna put these on for a minute. Honestly, it went over really well. Abnormally good for quitting a job. Usually you would think they would be mad or they would try to like, be like, what, like you need to give a two week notice, this is ridiculous. They were like, okay, like no problem. They were like, can we have you do this survey? So I filled out a whole survey about my experience at Target. Always, like I said, it was all good things. But I do feel a little bit sad now because I don't know, you make bonds with people at work. I don't know, it's just this chapter of my life is closed. Even though it was an extremely short chapter, it's still part of my life story and I worked for Target and it was great, but it just didn't work out for me. 
and now that chapter is finally closed. So that's the tea. I am no longer employed for a Target, which is just crazy. I didn't think it would be so short-lived, but Target was never meant to be like a long-term thing for me. It was just temporary. I was a seasonal employee even. Hopefully I'll get back to flying soon. I really, really am starting to miss it a lot more than I usually do. That is all she wrote for Target. Like murder, she wrote, get it, ha ha, I'm so old. Bye, Target. Honest to God, I'll probably never come back to this Target. Not for a bad reason, just because there's about five other Targets on the way here. Pretty much if I ever need something and the closest Target to me doesn't have it, there's a lot more options until I get to this one. I have a bunch of Targets where I live, so I'm really blessed in that sense. I don't think I'll ever be back, but that's all right. <laughs> Hashtag incognito. Hey, so it is a few days later now. I think it's two days. Two days later? I think it's two days later. Since last time I talked to you, obviously things got cut off after I quit Target and went to the cemetery because I ended up going to the SpaceX launch. That ended up canceling. And there is a vlog on that already up, so if you guys want to go check that out, it is the video right before this. Go check it out. I'll leave a link down in the description box as well. I just came over to International Mall real quick. I'm going to try not to spend a lot of money or any money at all because hashtag unemployed life. Yeah, it's great. I can't wait to go back to flying. But I'm gonna run in the mall, see what kind of trouble we can get into, hopefully not spend a lot of money. So I am fully prepared for all of you to call me a hypocrite or say you went back on your word or you lied. I'm fully prepared to take that because I actually do look like a hypocrite right now and I'm gonna show you guys why. Please don't judge me, please don't come for me in the comments because this was my decision. This isn't something that I normally post on my channel. You guys know I'm not like a big spender like this or anything, but I'm just gonna show you. This is what happens when I come to the mall by myself. This. To give you a little justification, designer stuff never goes on sale. It is so rare to find anything designer on sale that's real, let me say that. Obviously, before I purchased like expensive shoes like this, I called John, we talked about it on the phone, and I'm not trying to say like I need to get his permission, but like it's a big purchase, so I wanted to give him like the respect and the courtesy to ask him first. So, yeah, I ended up with Gucci shoes. I'll show you guys them when I get home. I don't really want to take them out of the box right now, just because it's gonna be a hassle to get them back in. Honestly, proud of myself for vlogging in public, though. Sips tea. The traffic in Florida, you guys, since we reopened, is literally out of this world. I don't remember if I'm like used to the roads not being empty or if the traffic was always this bad, but gosh, this sucks. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that I got this on camera. I was in the bathroom trying to take a thumbnail for this video, like in the big glass mirror, and this old guy <laughs> comes up to me, no bullshit, and he's like, you're really cute. And I was like, <laughs> I was like, thank you. Like, what do I say? I don't know, I like totally caught me off guard. I was like, uh, thank you, like all nice. And I'm like, please walk away, please walk away, please walk away, please don't continue the conversation. And he like stood there for a couple seconds and I kind of like just disengaged myself from the conversation and like went back to that. And oh my God, it was so awkward. Like why does this stuff happen to me? I don't get it. My camera just almost wiped out. I like your shoes. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, you too. I appreciate it, but it's just like, what? All right, so I just got home and I wanna show you guys the shoes real quick, because if I don't show them, a lot of you are gonna be like, Hunter, what the heck? Like, why didn't you even show us what you bought? So obviously I already like unpacked everything, so like all the original packaging isn't gonna be in there. It's actually right there. Oh, I forgot I put them in these dust containers. Hang on. You didn't even buy me any. I asked. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. So I think they're really cute with the little logo. They say Gucci on the side. I know I'm probably going to get a lot of hate for these in the comments. But I promise you guys, I don't shop like that all the time. And if you're an OG subscriber, you know I don't shop like that all the time. I just want to wrap the vlog up here. I'm actually just going to edit this video and relax the rest of the night. I've been trying to put out more content for you guys. I know you guys just want me to vlog everything I'm doing and just stop taking breaks from vlogging. So I'm really trying to push myself to vlog almost every day right now. So thank you guys so much for your love and support always if you like this video please make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me leave me a comment down below i respond to all of your comments good or bad and if you're not already subscribed what are you doing hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys next time